Hello, YouTubers out there. This is Jerry at the Movies with your host, Jerry Sadovia. On April 6th of 2012, an announcement was made that Raging Bull 2, that's right, Raging Bull 2, the sequel to 1980's Raging Bull, was going to start filming in June of 2012. Now, for what it's worth, Raging Bull to me is not just a masterpiece. It is one of the great cinematic wonders of the 20th century. It's one of the few perfect Martin Scorsese films I've seen. And the film itself dares, not to show, uh, dares to show not only the unflinching brutality of the sport of boxing, it also conveys the brutal, masochistic, and machoistic nature of the real-life boxer Jake LaMotta, who of course was played by Robert De Niro. So the film is really the opposite of the glory, uplifting appeal of Rocky. It criticizes and empathizes with a man who not only fought his inner demons in the boxing ring, but also at home, physically and emotionally abusing his wife in the process and accusing her of infidelity. And it also contains, to me, Robert De Niro's finest performance ever. It is a shattering, emotional, violent animal of a powerhouse of a performance that I don't even think the late Marlon Brando, who pretty much inve invented method acting, could have mined this kind of titanic work. So, with that in mind, there's going to be a sequel. Now, Raging Bull 2 has uh, been mentioned in the press as a combination prequel and sequel that explores before the rage and after the rage of Jake LaMotta's tumultuous life and times. Now, uh, before I proceed, I must uh, say that, uh, as most of you probably know, the film Raging Bull is based on uh, an autobiography by Jake LaMotta called Raging Bull. And because of the success of the film in 1986, uh, which I was not aware of until now, Jake LaMotta actually did write a sequel called Raging Bull 2. So this film is uh, more or less based on this book. Now... A sequel to Raging Bull would have been iffy at best, even if Scorsese and De Niro were involved, but they are not involved in any capacity. Instead, it's an Argentinian director named Martin uh, Guigui, I think, who helmed a film called National Lampoon's Cattle Call, of all things. Now, he's directing and co-writing this film. And uh, the book, Raging Bull, uh, again, it's by Chris Anderson, Sharon uh, McKeggie, and Jake LaMotta. Um, and the role of Jake LaMotta will be played by the toughest nails actor, William Forsythe, who I like a lot. But I still have to ask, what is the point? The original film, uh, Raging Bull, was criticized by some at the time, Pauline Kael for one, for not providing any insights into Jake's childhood, something which this pre-sequel will cover, or prequel. But no insights were really necessary, I thought. Um, Jake's background was clear enough with his surroundings, the people he consorted with, the tumultuous relationship to his equally volatile brother Joey, played by Joe Pesci, and the way Jake treated his wife, Vicky, played by Catherine Moriarty. And when his boxing days were, were over, uh, Jake became a nightclub act, owned his own Miami club before getting busted for allowing underage girls in his club, performed in bad, cheap venues in New York City, and eventually played at Ritzier clubs with skits that involved the writings of Tennessee Williams and Shakespeare and so on. Now, Jake divorced from Vicky, yet managed to reconcile with his brother. So the result to me was a film that was uh, a relentless and vivid biographic tale of a man who fought hard on and off the ring, and also fought hard to punish himself for his sins. So he's not quite redeemed, but how many Scorsese protagonists ever are? Now, I can give credit where it is due in continuing the story of Jake LaMotta. I mean, to me, it's better than attempting yet another foolhardy sequel in the National Lampoon Vacation series, or, God forbid, a remake of the original Chevy Chase film. But Scorsese himself has turned down sequels in the past to his own works. Uh, he didn't want to be involved in a Cape Fear sequel, claiming that he did his best to show that Max Cady, the film's villain, who of course was also played by Robert De Niro, was dead. There were also rumors for a long time of a Taxi Driver sequel to be co-directed and co-written, or both, with the uh, insane director Lars von Trier, whom you might know uh, last year had a film called, uh, released called uh, Melancholia. And there were also rumors of a continuation of Goodfellas. Now, this is actually happening. It is, uh, Goodfellas has been picked up as a TV series for AMC, 
and it will be penned by the Goodfellas author himself, Nicholas Pileggi. Uh, as far as I can tell, probably Scorsese has no involvement in this whatsoever. Um, now, the book of Raging Bull 2 apparently deals with uh, Jake LaMotta's five other wives um, that he had had, and the abuse uh, that he bestowed upon them, if you like. Uh, he was very abusive, um, physically and emotionally, and, uh, you know, again, a lot of this was already covered in the original film of Raging Bull. So to keep dealing with that when technically they showed him to be at least at peace with himself, as Scorsese even said himself, uh, himself about uh, the ending of Raging Bull. I don't see the point. Now, the book of Raging Bull, uh, the first book, dealt with uh, Jake LaMotta's childhood, uh, his uh, brief stint in prison, um, and I guess this film will deal with some of that subject matter that was not featured in the original Raging Bull film, and the ears after the rage, as they say. But I, I, you know, again, I really don't see the point because I think that Raging Bull fully encapsulated Jake LaMotta. So to me, the only place you can go from there is where Jake almost fell himself, which is downhill. So although I don't like criticizing films before they're actually released, I do think I have a duty to criticize the subject matter and uh, to say what I'm not comfortable with. Uh, of course, I will see the film. I'm curious what they're going to do with it. Um, the people involved, with the exception of William Forsyth, doesn't inspire much confidence in me, but we'll see what happens. But without Robert De Niro doing it, and uh, no, Scorsese, no Scorsese, um no Paul Schrader, for that matter, uh, who wrote the film, uh, the original, you know, I don't see much point in this. So, hey, we'll see. We'll see uh, what happens. Until then, this is Jerry.